where we have a shell where we, ha we have a hollow shell where left part of the shell has charge distribution of minus sigma this is charge per unit area and right side has charge distribution of plus sigma where plus sigma is charge per unit area find dipole moment find dipole moment now this part this question this situation can be thought of as a electric dipole electric dipole is basically plus q and negative q plus minus q and plus q separated by some length l so your dipole is basically dipole moment is basically a vector from negative to positive charge and its magnitude is q into l so this situation can be thought of as electric dipole let's draw a horizontal line let's draw a horizontal line and at an angle of theta with this line at an angle of theta with this line I cut a ring I cut a ring which subtends angle d theta at the center so this ring is something like this radius of the shell was r radius of this ring is gonna be r sine theta and this distance is gonna be r cos theta let's say this charge is plus dq plus dq would be sigma into my small area area this shaded area of the ring so this is gonna be sigma into my 2 pi r sin theta that's the length of this ring into my thickness thickness is gonna be this r d theta into my r d theta so this is dq and we cut a symmetric ring on the other side also so we cut a ring at an angle of theta which subtends angle d theta at the center so this is going to be something like this and this charge is going to be minus dq these charges plus dq and minus dq are separated by this distance this distance is going to be 2 r cos theta so this negative this combination of negative q and this combination of plus q can be thought of as a dipole where dipole moment is from negative charge to positive charge so this is going to be a dipole moment that's gonna be dp and this dp would be equal to dq into l l would be 2r cos theta now in this way we cut this whole surface in terms of rings symmetric rings we have this ring which has charge minus dq1 we have a ring which has charge plus dq1 dipole moment due to this small charge distribution would be dp1 in this particular direction then you have another ring and symmetrically another ring at this point you have dp2 in this direction then you have another ring and you have symmetric another ring this ring has charge minus dq3 then this ring has charge plus dq3 and you have another dipole from negative charge to positive charge that's going to be dp3 so all these dipoles are basically parallel to one another so I can say net dipole moment is gonna be scalar sum whose direction is going to be from left to right which will be integral of this particular thing so, and your angle theta should go from 0 to an angle such that all the surfaces get cut into parts simple simple rings combination of negative ring and a positively charged ring so basically your theta should go from 
zero to ninety. Your last string would be something like this. Your le you, let's see this again. This was our shell, and we have one ring, and one ring. Then we have another ring, then another ring, then this we have this ring, and we have this ring. This angle was theta. So this theta should go from zero to ninety. Then we have all, all we have cut this whole surface into negatively and positively charged ring. So basically, your theta should go from zero to ninety, and your net dipole moment would be integral of this part. This this will be sigma two pi r. Sine theta into R d theta into two R cos theta zero to pi by two, and the dipole moment is going to be in this particular direction. Once you have calculated this dipole moment, there can be a very nice question based on this particular thing. Suppose we have a shell whose left side has charge. Minus sigma and right ha side has charge, charge per unit area plus sigma. This is a shell. This is a hollow shell. And suppose electric field is asked at a point very very far away from this shell, where R is very very greater than R. Find electric field and potential at point A, and find electric field and potential at point B. so we can assume the shell to be a dipole whose dipole moment is in this particular direction and which we can calculate from this part we have just solved and we can say put electric field at a would be in this direction and its magnitude is going to going to be 1 by 4 pi epsilon not that's k 2 p net upon small r cube this is your electric field and potential at this point is going to be 1 by 4 pi epsilon not that's k p net upon r square i'm just using the formulas for the dipole electric field at point b is going to be towards left that's going to be kp p net by r cube in this particular direction and potential at b is going to be zero so we are done